The New York Knicks versus the Philadelphia 76ers in round one of the 2024 NBA playoffs. Let's get it on. In today's video, we're going to preview round one, and I'm going to tell you the five things the Knicks need to do to advance and get to round two of the playoffs. But first, I need everybody watching this video. If you want the Knicks to beat the Philadelphia 76ers, hit that thumbs up icon. The more likes we get on this video, the more likely it is the Knicks will be dancing their way into round two of the playoffs. You're watching Knicks Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green. NBA playoff time, my favorite time of the calendar. And there's no better way to kick it off with the New York Knicks set to take on the Philadelphia 76ers. As we film this video on Wednesday night, the Knicks are minus 108 to win the series, while the Philadelphia 76ers are minus 120. The Knicks continue to be disrespected by the odds makers out west, and I can't wait to win more money and prove them wrong. Let's start by setting the stage. Game one, Knicks Sixers will be on ESPN April 20th at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Game two, April 22nd, TNT, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Game three, back in Philly, April 25th, the first night of the NFL draft. What the hell are we doing, Adam Silver? 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Game four, April 28th, a 1 p.m. tip, a little matinee matchup on a Sunday afternoon. And then maybe game five, maybe game six, maybe game seven, if they are needed. Hopefully they are not. I do think it is important to go back and take a look at the games that the New York Knicks have played against the Philadelphia 76ers. It's just in this situation, not many of these games really apply because the only game where Joel Embiid and OG and Obi both played for their respective squads was on January 5th of 2024, and the New York Knicks beat them by 36 points. It was not close, but Julius Randle played in that game. Julius Randle did not play, obviously, in the rest of these games. Joel Embiid did not play in the rest of these games. Embiid did play in, uh, excuse me, Ananobi did play in this one where the Knicks routed the Sixers, but you really only have one-ish game to really have a sample size of, but even then, it wasn't the Knicks' full team. You haven't seen this version of the Knicks versus that version of the Sixers, but I do know this. This will not be an easy series for the New York Knicks. If you think you are just going to walk into this series in four or five games and gentlemen sweep them or sweep them, you have more confidence in me, and I probably need to talk to you a little bit more so I can get more confidence. It's not a lack of confidence. It's a respect thing for the Philadelphia 76ers. But I was not impressed by them in the NBA play-in tournament. I know Tyrese Maxey had a bad game. Joel Embiid, he didn't look 100% to me. He looked out of shape. He looked winded. It looked like he kind of re-injured himself a little bit. Not rooting for injuries at all. I'm just telling you what my eyes saw when I watched this game live on the channel with you guys. He didn't look to be 100%. Uh, he simply just did not. So they didn't look good in the plan. And if Nick Batum doesn't go for 20 points in that playing game, do they even win that game? I'm not so sure. But I do know this. They are a good basketball team. They were at one point the two seed in the Eastern Conference prior to Joel Embiid being hurt. And you know what? It's going to take the Knicks a game to win this series, and that's how it's going to be in any playoff series. Their strengths, playing from the inside out with Joel Embiid, they like to rough it up and mug it up on the defensive end led by Nick Nurse. If the Knicks are going to win, they're going to need to play their A game, and I'll tell you the five things they need to do. I want to hear from you in the comment section, though. Who do you got in this matchup? Who is advancing to round two of the dance? Is it the New York Knicks, or is it the Philadelphia 76ers? Let me know down in the comment section. The number one most important thing for the Knicks to advance in the playoffs, Captain Obvious, not slow down Joel Embiid, not shut down Joel Embiid, not stop Joel Embiid, it's make life hard for Joel Embiid. When you're playing against these superstar players, all you can ask from your team is to hold them to less than their season averages. And I'm hoping the Knicks can do that. And I think they have a great chance to do so as Embiid averaged 35, 11, 5.6 assists. I mean, honestly, if Embiid stayed healthy, he might have been the MVP this year. 
And they're also a really good team when they are on the floor together with Embiid. They're 32 and 8 this year, was 31 and 8, and they just beat the Miami Heat. But you know what? If there's any two centers in the league on one team that I would choose to defend Joel Embiid, it's Mitchell Robinson and it's Isaiah Hartenstein. That is 48 minutes of high level center play. When you talk about rim protection, when you talk about defensive IQ, when you talk about being to affect a game on the glass on both ends of the floor. You need Mitchell Robinson, and you need Isaiah Hartenstein to earn themselves some money. You make life for Embiid with Robinson playing great and Isaiah Hartenstein playing great. you got a great chance to go to round two. Key number two, Jalen Brunson needs to be great. <laughs> I said it a couple of times on the channel prior to today, but Jalen Brunson needs to bring his A game to the 2024 NBA playoffs. You look at what he did over the season as a whole. And we all know that Jalen Brunson should be a first-team All-NBA player. He should be in the top five of the MVP conversation for what he did. 28.7 points per game, 6.7 assists, 48% for the field, north of 40% from three. But you might need him to be a little bit better than that. And he was when he became the face of this franchise. When Julius Randle went down at the end of January and he did not return in the final 33 games of the regular season, Jalen Brunson took his game to another level. And if you come out of round one and Brunson's averaging 31 and a half with seven dimes on 48% and 37% from three, you're going to be very happy with the outcome of this series. You might need him to be better than what he was in the playoffs. The thing I'm going to be looking at Brunson is how is he going to be able to, one, be the head of the snake for the Knicks offense and Nick Nurse game planning consistently to try to slow them down, but how is he going to be able to shoot the outside shot? Sometimes so I feel like when his usage is high, naturally he gets a little bit tired and he doesn't necessarily shoot the long ball as well. But if he only shoots 29% from three like he did in round one against Cleveland last year and only 34% from three like he did against Miami last year, the New York Knicks could be in a little bit of trouble. But I believe in Jalen Brunson. I wouldn't have anybody as my point guard than him. I'm ride or dying with JB and I think he's going to take us to where we want to go. Number three, key to victory. Tom Thibodeau, he needs to outcoach Nick Nurse. Um, I think that is where this series could be swung. Tom Thibodeau needs to find a way to make life easier for Jalen Brunson. And he needs to find a way and maybe adjust a little bit to make life hell for Joel Embiid. Because as we know, the Knicks on defense, they don't like to extend their defensive pressure when guarding other fives beyond the foul line. They, like K they let KP catch that pick and pop. They don't necessarily press up on these guys. They like to play drop coverage, and they like for the rim protector to be protecting the rim. But as we know, Embiid likes to operate at the elbow. Top of the key, three-point line. Going to have to change their defensive strategy a little bit. But Tom Thibodeau just needs to outcoach Nick Nurse. If he does, which he should, because he is a better coach, the Knicks will continue to move on in the NBA playoffs. I've got two more keys that we need to get into. But first, got to tell you about our proud sponsor, Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS, and Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Win big money, withdraw your winnings, pick more, pick less. It's daily fantasy sports made easy. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players, and you simply choose more or less on their projected stat line. Enjoy the NBA basketball playoffs with a little bit of lettuce on the line playing the number one daily fantasy sports app in the game. It's a lot of fun, and they'll give you $100 for free if you put $100 in your account and use that promo code CLNS. Because we love and care about you, we'll make sure all that information is clickable down in the comments and description. Key number four, someone outside of Jalen Brunson is going to need to win a game for the New York Knicks whether it's on the offensive end or defensive end. And I want to see Joel Embiid, excuse me, I want to see OG and Obi be the third best player in this series. If you have two of the top three players, if Ananobi outplays Maxi, you're going to be good. I want to see Ananobi guarding Embiid a little bit. I think I want to see him guarding Tyrese Maxi the most, but down the stretch, I don't mind when they're playing through Embiid at the post, putting Ananobi on him, and then coming with a hard double team or having Hartenstein on a guy like uh, Embiid. And then OG is that blitzer that comes in at double teams with the six foot seven, seven plus foot wingspan. But more so on the offensive end, the Knicks are going to need a game from Dante DiVincenzo. 
if Dante DiVincenzo, the big ragu, is able to knock down the outside shot at the rate that he has all 82 games long this year, the Knicks will be fine. But he didn't play all that well in the playoffs last year for the Golden State Warriors. Different team, different time. Can he do it this time? I believe him. I got all the faith in him. And we need to have a game where Dante DiVincenzo knocks in six, seven, or eight threes. And if you do, you'll be really, really, really in a good spot. You also need a Josh Hart game. You're going to need a game where Hart goes for 12, 10, and 12. You're going to need one of those games. He's a starter for you. And you know what? I think the Villanova boys might be just a little bit more motivated to play the Philadelphia 76ers because Philly, it's a basketball town run by Villanova, not the Philadelphia 76ers. What about a bogey game? Can we get a Boyan Bogdanovich game? Maybe it's 15 points. Maybe it's 16 points. Maybe it's 17 points. Maybe he hits a big shot down the stretch, open three from the corner, knocks it down. You need this guy to give you some juice in the playoffs. You need a heart game. You need two players to win you a game. Brunson can win you two himself. You may need DiVincenzo to get you one. You might need Hart to get you one. Bogey get you one. Maybe Deuce get you one. Brunson will get you two. Somebody else has to get you one and another. Last thing. Make someone else beat you. Don't let Joel Embiid be the reason you lose this series. Don't let him average 38 points per game and 12 rebounds and 7 assists and he dog walks you and you lose in 6. You make someone else beat you and I'll take my chances. And this is no disrespect to Tyrese Maxey. I think he's a really good player. I think he's one of the best young guards in this league and he's a bona fide proven number 2 scorer. But I like my chances with a guy like Miles McBride guarding him or a guy like OG Ananobi guarding him or a guy like Dante DiVincenzo guarding him. If you can just make somebody else beat you. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick Batum had to drop 20 for them to beat the Miami Heat by one point. Is Batum doing that versus the Knicks? I don't know. I don't know. But I know if you make life hard for Embiid, Jalen Brunson plays his A game, Tibbs out coaches Nick Nurse, you have a game from somebody else, and you make someone else on the Philadelphia 76ers beat you, the Knicks will be walking their way into round two. I'll ask you one more time. Who do you got in round one of the playoffs? Is it your New York Knicks or is it your Philadelphia 76ers? Let me know in the comment section. My prediction, Knicks in six. Knicks in six. I have confidence in this team. I believe they are the better roster from top to bottom. I believe they have the better coach. And although Embiid may be a better player, are we going to be shocked if we walk out of round one and say Jalen Brunson was the best player in that series? I know I'm not because I believe in him, and I need him to show up, and he will because that's what he does. Captain Clutch, face of the organization, best player in the Eastern Conference. We'll see you in round two. Make sure you are following me over on social media. I cannot wait. Round one, Knicks, Sixers. We'll be live on this channel for every single game. So subscribe, turn the notifications on, and let's go Knicks at Philly.